Testing, testing, one, two, three. I have a cold, but that's okay. My voice sounds alright, and I like to play. Vendetta online, all night and all day. So, here we are at the login screen. Uh, you can see my character name is Phaserlight, and uh, I'm going to be giving you a level tutorial. How to level up quickly, best ways I've found to level when you're just starting out. I apologize for the audio quality on this. I'm actually running this using Fraps on a, uh, a free trial version. And uh, I think you can hear the uh, Toshiba laptops fan in the background. Um, but uh, just bear with me and uh, hopefully I can show you guys a few things. This is a uh, uh, you know, middle of the road laptop. It's got an i3 processor. So it, this game may actually look better on some computers. Uh, there's also the 30 second limit on fraps so if this feels like we're kind of skipping forward in time, kind of tripping forward, then you know why that is. Alright, so we'll go ahead and log in here. Uh, this is the first screen you get. It's got all your characters. We're going to start from the very beginning using this guy, Dr. Manhattan, uh, taken from the, uh, the series Watchmen. And I actually want to start from the beginning, so we're going to delete this character, type in the name, and here we go, create a new character. So you get to choose the Itani, Circo, or UIT. Uh, the UIT I would recommend for most new players, as they're neutral, you start out with pretty good faction levels. You can fly anywhere you want to uh, without worrying about being shot at by NPCs. If you're more of a, a PvP-oriented player, then maybe check out the Atani or the Circo. So we'll make a UIT character for purposes of this. So here we type in the character name, Dr. Manhattan. Originally he was blue because, you know, if you've seen the Watchmen, he's a big giant blue guy. So I thought that was appropriate. But we'll make him UIT for now. So we're going to create this character. And there he is. And we click play. I like that entering that online. Uh, normally you start out using the mouse and. Uh, you can use uh, joysticks, it's pretty joystick friendly, but uh, some top players do just as well with the mouse. So I'll, uh, I'll be using the mouse for this tutorial. Okay, so here we go. I'm not going to go through all of this with you, but basically this first step takes you through a few buttons. You have to click just to the interface. Um, so first thing you do is you have to buy a ship, so we go to ship tab. And click buy. EC89 is the only one you can get. So we'll click next. Purchase selected. Congratulations, you purchased your first ship. Yay! Woo woo! Small add ons. Training blaster. Purchase selected. Other add ons. Free power cell. This is all free stuff. Free. Okay, now it says we got a launch. So we'll go to. Uh, your PDA personal data assistant and it's going to ask us to take a mission this is the mission board from where you uh, will get most of your assignments and it's where you uh, learn uh, through the tutorials so the only one we've got now is basic flight and combat so let's go ahead and take that now I'm not going to go through all this text with you as I'll be covering most of it in this tutorial. So just bear with me as we click through this interface. Uh, normally as you're playing you would read through this on your own. Uh, so let's see, launch. And there is our ship. 
uh, is from a first person perspective. You can see some people who may be familiar with games like Counter Strike or Descent um, might be used to this. But basically, you move the mouse in the direction you want to look. The crosshairs represents the direction that your ship's nose is facing. So you can look in any direction as you're using the mouse, but bear in mind that the uh, crosshairs is uh, where you're really pointed. Okay, so here's the station we just launched from. A big giant asteroid. I heard actually that this asteroid is the largest in the game universe. Interesting little side fact. So uh, you hit M to get back to your mission log. We'll click through this. Continue, 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 continue. Now, all you really have to do in the first tutorial is launch right through that and dock. So we're going to head for these docking ports here. We want to look for the blue flashing arrows. You don't want to fly into these things. These are the exit ports. They're actually protected, so you can't fly into them. So we're going to head for the uh, docking bay here. It's a little jerky. Normally it doesn't look that way. Okay, so we'll go back to mission board and now we get training to Now off in the distance there you can see a capital ship. Uh, you can't actually fly one of these yet, but you can dock with the docking ports and man the turrets. And they are used in some large-scale warfare between the Itani and Serco in the Deneb system. Um, this is actually a transport, so it's not really a warship, but it's, uh, it's sometimes used in large-scale conflict. And pretty much everything you see here is uh, a single sector. This is the training sector. Uh, the Vendetta Online universe is divided into systems and sectors and each system is made up of 256 sectors and there are a total of uh, I believe 30 something in the entire universe. The one we're in right now is highlighted in Dao. So if we zoom in here you can see this star system is actually made up of all these sectors and the uh, green square is our current location down J7 okay so to pass this tutorial just click continue a few times and we'll head back to the dock Now normally if you were playing this game for the first time, I would recommend spending a little additional time in exploring the training sector, but this is a tutorial on how to level quickly, so uh, we're not going to spend a lot of time looking around. So now we have training 3, which involves some navigation. We're going to fly to the capital. This is the first training mission where you're actually allowed to leave this sector. Uh, now, uh, warping in Vendetta Online involves traveling 3,000 meters away from all large objects. Objects. There's a uh, three kilometer uh, distance yet yeah, you can jump. So the first thing to do is to turbo away. Uh, notice also as I'm turboing, I'm actually not looking in the direction I'm traveling. Let's see if we can get an external view here. Right, so there's our ship traveling in one direction out away from all far objects. But you can see uh, one advantage of using the mouse is that when you hit turbo your direction locks in. You can't change your direction. 
look anywhere you want to, so you can actually travel out in this direction and look back and see where you came from. So there's the old sector there, and I think we're far enough. So let's go to our nav map, hit N to get to the nav map, and we want to go to the capital and see oh, what sector do they want us to go to. Oh. So we just hit enter, and there's a little warp animation. Ship opening a wormhole, connecting two distant points of space. And uh, the loading screen has these little tips, you can read them, they, they're pretty helpful. That's another way you can kind of get to learn the game. One thing uh, I should mention is the uh, chat tab. The chat you will see on the top left hand 